Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklit Educational Channel. So this is the part 47 for the expected questions of the syllabus wise UGC NET environmental science paper. Yes, we are dealing with the unit 9 that is biostatistics part and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to get further updates. You can also join our telegram and instagram page, the links are provided in the description below. So let's start today's video. So the first question which we are going to deal today is from the UGC NET 2020 examination paper and this question has confused many of the applicants. So you should know what was the question. The question was if sigma x that is summation x is equal to 230 given and summation x square is given as 6500 and the number of observation that is n is given to 10 so the value of standard deviation will be how much. So here in this question sigma x is given, sigma x square is given and number of observations are given and we have to find the standard deviation. So let's know how to solve this kind of question in the next slide. So here there is a formula which you must note down for the examination purpose. So the formula before knowing that we should write what is given as I always say we should write the given part in the question. So given is sigma x 230 sigma x square 6500 and n is equal to 10 given. So we have to find the standard deviation. So the standard deviation to find the formula is root over of sigma x square by n minus sigma x by n whole square so this is two things are very different you should mark here it is whole square and here it is not the whole square only the square of x square so here we will just put the values and get the answers so standard deviation is equal to sigma x square given as 6500 by 10 minus sigma x by n that is 230 by 10 whole square and after solving 230 the square is 52900 and we will then solve these things and finally we'll get that root over of 121 will be the standard deviation that is the value is 11 so here in option number 3 11 i was given so 11 will be the correct option so this formula you should note down to find this kind of solution so let's move to the next question the next question is on your screen and the question is identify the correct relationship in the statistical error so what is the relationship that is correct in the statistical error i will wait for certain seconds then i will reveal the answer so here in statistics the correct relationship between the observed value and true value to find the error is option number a yes error is what error is the thing when the observed value is minus that is subtracted by the true value so this will give the error of the statistical test so now let's know the theory behind this so we should know what is a statistical error so in statistical terminology the word error is used in a special sense so error shows the extent to which the observed value of a quantity exceeds the true value so that's the thing you should note down so error is equal to observed value minus true value we have discussed now we should know what are the types of error so these two are the basic classification of error that is biased error and unbiased error so you should know what is a biased error so biased errors are the error which arise due to the personal prejudices or bias of the investigator and informant so when the investigator or the informants are biased and they are having the personal prejudices then these biased errors are found so what are unbiased errors the errors which enter into the statistical inquiry or statistical test due to chance causes so it is not done by knowing or by biasedness that is called as unbiased kind of errors so let's move to the next question so the next question is the mean of 25 observations was found to be 78.4 but later it was found that the 96 was misread as 69 so there are 25 observations in which the 96 number was misread as 69 so there will be the error in that observations mean so we have to find the correct mean so these kinds of question are one of the frequent last questions in the net examination so you should know how to solve this kind of examinations question so here as we always do we should write the given thing so given is the n is equal to 25 n means number of observations are how much they are 25 and mean is given that is the wrong mean actually given as 78.4 so from here what we can get we can get what is the summation of the all 25 observation how we can get because we know that the mean is equal to summation of all the values divided by the number of values so here what we can get we can get the summation x that is the summation of all the 25 observations so that is how we should multiply the mean with the number of observations so here 
mean is the 78.4 multiplied by number of observation is 25 when we multiply we get 1960 as the summation of all these 25 observation but this summation is incorrect why because it is given 96 was misread as 69 yes is 96 number tha usko misread kiya gaya hai 69 so we have to find the correct mean so 96 was misread as 69 so this to find the correct summation x what we need to do is we need to find the incorrect that summation of x minus sum of incorrect value plus sum of correct values so this is the formula to find the correct summation of all the observations so we'll know here that is the incorrect summation x that is 1960 we have found here minus 69 that is the sum of incorrect value first we should subtract that plus the sum of correct value that means plus add the correct value that is 96 so here the value which we will be getting will be 1987 so we have found the correct summation just we have to divide it with the number of observation that is 25 so that will be how much 1987 by 25 will give us the correct mean as 79.48 so here the answer will be 79.48 that is the correct mean so in this way by using this formula that is incorrect summation x minus sum of incorrect value plus sum of correct value will give the correct summation x and then what we can do by dividing it with the number of observation we can get the correct mean if anything is misread or mistyped so let's move to the next question so this question is also one of the very frequent asked questions in the net examination we should read this question first the question is find the average rate of motion in the case of a person who rides the first kilometer at 10 km an hour the next kilometer at 8 km an hour and the third kilometer at 6 km an hour so person who rides that means he is riding some vehicle that person for first kilometer he is going at a speed of 10 km per hour then he is going at a speed of 8 km per hour for the next one kilometer then for the third kilometer he is going at the speed of 6 km per hour so we have to find the average rate of motion that means it is asking average speed of that person with that vehicle so here i have written that what most of the students will do yes those whose concept is not clear what they will do they will simply add these three speeds that is 10 plus 8 plus 6 that is it will be equal to 24 yes 24 divided by 3 times so divided by 3 and they will get a value as 8 and they will hit option b and they will get a big zero yes because 8 is not the correct answer so this step is very very incorrect you should note the concept and examiner has also put that incorrect option to confuse you and give you zero marks so let's know what is the correct formula to solve these kind of questions so here we are going to solve with the help of a very easy formula so there is nothing formula so we should incorporate our own concept that is here if this type of question is given that first kilometer this many speed second kilometer this is the speed and third is this is the speed so we should use to find the harmonic mean yes harmonic mean all this concept i have discussed in the first part of the statistics playlist you can go there and see what is this so harmonic mean is what it is n that is number of observations divided by 1 by mean 1 1 by mean 2 1 by mean 3 that is 1 by x1 plus 1 by x2 plus 1 by x3 so here x1 x2 x3 means the mean of the first second and third case so here total number of observations means total number of kilometers total number of kilometers he went is 3 kilometers 3 times so it will be n and what is the mean that is the average rate of motion average speed at first kilometer is 10 so 1 by 10 we should do remember 1 by 10 not 10 so then we will add with the second average by 1 by 8 that is the 8 kilometer per hour for the second case similarly we will add with plus 1 by 6 that is the it is telling about the harmonic mean of this race of this person so after solving all these things we will get the value as 7.6 km an hour is the correct average of that person yes then we can hit the option a and we'll get the full marks so here in this type of question you should go for harmonic mean simple thing and you'll get the correct answer so i hope you are noting down all these concepts so let's move to the next question here is one more problem coming in front of your screen so the question is there are 60 students in msc environmental science of ravensa university of which 25 are girls so the average weight of the 25 girls is given as 40 kg and that of all boys is 53 kg so we have to find the mean weight in kg 
of the entire MSc students. So here actually there can be a language problem and you can be confused. So it is telling there are 60 students of which 25 are girls. That means 25 are girls out of 60. So how much it will be boys? So boys will be 35. So 35 are boys. 25 are girls so here it was telling that the average weight of 25 girls is 40 kg and that of all boys that of all boys means that of 35 boys is 53 kg so then we have to find the mean weight let's move to the next slide so this is the case of the combined mean formula you should use the combined mean formula to know the overall weight of this class so here let x1 mean and x2 mean denote the average weight of the girls and the boys respectively then x1 mean is given as how much it is given as 40 so that is the mean average weight of the girls x2 mean that is the mean average weight of the boys is given as 53 and n1 that is number of girls observation is 25 and number of boys we have found that is 60 minus 25 is 35 so mean weight of the total msc students will be how much so the formula for the total mean average will be x mean will take the average of the all students that is n1 x1 mean plus n2 x2 mean divided by n1 plus n2 so this is the formula to get the combined mean value so we'll simply put all this value which we have discussed here we have mentioned 25 into 40 plus 35 into 53 divided by 25 plus 35 and we should know we will calculate whether it is coming total students or not yes 60 is the total student so it is also correct after solving all these we'll get the value as 47.583 kg so 47.583 kg that is option number b will be the correct option that is the average weight of these msc students is 47.58 kg so these were some of the techniques and formulas which you can note down and you should do and practice more to be more sure for answering these questions correctly. So I hope you have enjoyed this. Don't forget to like this, share it with your friends. Keep smiling. See you guys in our next video.